Hey y'all, my name is Derrica Scott. I am a new grad registered nurse in the pediatric intensive care unit. I'm gonna show you exactly what I packed in my work bag. This is real, this is raw. This is exactly what I bring to work with me. Last day I worked was, so today is Friday. I last worked on Wednesday night, so yeah. So today is Friday night, I last worked Wednesday night. And so I'm about to show y'all what's in my work bag. I haven't touched anything in this bag. I haven't put anything in it or taken anything out of it. So I'm about to show you exactly what I bring to me to work every single day. So first of all, let's just talk about the bag. This is the baby ball bag. It's the perfect size. It's easy to clean. Just wipe it down and it stands up on its own, which I love. And the girlies on TikTok really was eating it up. Like, that's how you get the handles down. That was just all over this bag. And this bag has been around really so, I don't know. But I love this bag. This is what I take to work with me. I got it for Christmas from my mama. I love it so much. First, I have my Stanley in here, my pink Stanley that I love. I need to wash this actually. But I just love the fact that this whole cup can fit in here. And I still have like a bunch of other stuff in here too. See? And now I can kind of turn it on its side. So I have my Litman stethoscope. I love this stethoscope, even though the part that goes around the diaphragm came off, so I can't use the diaphragm anymore. I can only use the bell. I still love it. I wish it was a more pink color, but I got it for Christmas in 2021 before I graduated nursing school. And I love the gold around here and it's just a really cute stethoscope, but I really need to invest in a new one since I can't use my diaphragm anymore. Next, we have my really cute registered nurse pouch. I got this from Amazon. Let's see what I have in here. First, I have this clip you can put it on your scrub top or your jacket top like this it's a light night shift so i hate going in the patient's room and i like i need to do something like look at their iv or like look at their ng tube or something where it's not much so i don't really want to wake them up and i will use my pen light but when i was just using my pen light I had to hold it, I had to put it a certain way, and it just wasn't working for me. So I ordered this off of Amazon. And I just think it's so, so cute, and it's pink. Also on here, I have my trauma shears. They are also pink, if you can't tell, I love pink. I have some hand sanitizer, also pink. This is the Everyone For Everybody hand sanitizer spray. I got this from Sprouts. I think they also sell it at Target. And this is the flavor Ruby Grapefruit. It smells good. Then I have my Vanilla Hydrating Lip Balm from Bath & Body Works. And it smells so good. Like, I love vanilla stuff, but this smells really good. And it, it like works. And then like after I go to the bathroom and wash my hands, I put some of this on with my fresh clean hands and then put my mask back on. It smells so good. I have some badge buddy cards in here and my badge, of course. I have this Christmas tree badge. I'm trying to find all the badge buddies. I have a medication one with all the dosing. You got all, all the things on here. Bumix, Presidex, Dopamine, Epi, Fentanyl, Ketamine, Ativan, Mag, Versed, Milrinone, Morphine. Nicardipine, Norepi, Propofol, Rocaronium, Terbutaline, Vilcaronium, Vasopressin for DI and for shock. All the dosing. What else is on here? The dosage. Okay, the usual low dose and the usual high dose. And I'm pretty sure I got those cards from Amazon. I have a vital sign card for um, adults and for pediatrics. Temp card, NG, OG tube sizes for age. This is actually very helpful. I don't use it, but now that I know that I have it in my bag, I may use it. So now that I'm out of orientation, I can't just ask my preceptor, hey, what size NG should they get? A badge, buddy from my job. My job also has buddies for like all the numbers that we may need to call. And the way it sits on your badge, 
it sits upside down so that if we ever need it, we can just like look at it and flip and it's like right side up, which is actually pretty convenient and smart. So whoever thought of that, 10 out of 10. And I have this RN Badge Buddy I got from Amazon. It has um, weight, weight conversions from pounds to kicks, kilograms. I also have some Jergens hand lotion in my bag. I use like fragrances that don't really have a smell or brands that don't really have a smell while I'm at work because I don't want to trigger anyone's allergies. So I leave my good smelling stuff at home. I have some Bath and Body Works lip gloss in here, a rubber band, some tape, oh, some tape. This definitely came out of one of the drawers, but it probably ended up in my pocket. A scrunchie. And then I have my pen light, also pink. I have a Sharpie, this really cute pen, a big pen, this Sharpie pen. I mainly use the Sharpie pens when I'm like writing. It's the S Gel 0.7. I have a pencil and a highlighter. So these are all the things that I have or keep in my registered nurse couch. Basically all the registered nurse nursing things, I put them in there. Like all the things that I actually use for work, that's what I put in the registered nurse pouch. And I will link everything down below. Next, I have my all the little things pouch that I got from Walmart. I literally saw it in Walmart and was like, that's so cute, I have to get it. I have a mini deodorant, some gum, a mini Vaseline, another mini lotion. This one is Gold Bond Healing Hydrating Cream with Aloe, which is very important because when you're a nurse, you have to wash your hands so much. You're just washing them and washing them. And most people will, everyone uses the hand sanitizer because it's right there in the room. But after a couple of times using the hand sanitizer, I just actually go wash my hands. And I use the restroom a couple of times, probably like three or four times throughout my shift. And I wash my hands after that. So anytime water touches my hands, so like soap and water, of course, anytime I actually like wash my hands in a sink, I always put on lotion after because Right when I became a nurse, like the first month or two, when I was, I was an extern first, but once I became an actual nurse and was like doing the patient care and like always washing my hands and stuff, I wasn't putting on lotion every single time. My hands got so dry, they were like peeling and it was, it was gross. It was absolutely disgusting. So that's when I went ahead and got me some small pocket size like this literally can fit in my pocket. Like. It can, like you can't even tell it's in here, but it can fit in my scrub pocket, my jacket pocket, my pants pocket. It can fit in any pocket and it's just so small. The Jergens one, I just leave in here. And here I also have some Beauty Supply lip gloss. And then I have this Mix Bar Coconut Palm Hair and Body Mist that I got from Target. And I, it smells so good. When I got this one, I had to go get another one. So I have one in my bag and I also have one in my bathroom. Cause it smells so good. I have a mini travel size toothbrush and toothpaste. I also have some gloss. I have this Vaseline lip therapy with aloe vera. Of course, some pain medicine. Got some Tylenol in there. So that's everything that goes in here. And I just leave this stuff in my work bag. Cause you never know when you're going to need it. What else do we have in here? Okay, I got some report sheets that I need to get rid of. This is how I organize it every night. Um, on my unit, we don't have printed out report sheets, but we all literally do our report sheets the exact same. We fold a piece of paper in half and just organize our day based on that. I have this bag in here, which I don't really know why it's in here because we can talk about what's in it. Some oil. I have this taser in here. Exactly why this bag isn't supposed to be in this bag, but I don't know how it ended up in there. This little pack holds like all of my important documents. Another reason why this bag should not be in my work bag, but it is. So I told y'all this is raw, uncut. A panty liner. Another one. Some gift cards. Starbucks. Starbucks. 
Wax, the Bath and Body Works Lip Plumper. A blow pop, I don't know why I have this in there. Some more pins, a scrunchie, some gum. I don't know why this bag is in here, y'all. I mainly just carry this bag when I have like a big purse or something. I have, it was some popcorn in here. Um, Boom Chicka Pop, the purple bag, and then some Skittles. I keep some Clorox wipes with me. Scrub cap, another pen, some more gum. Couch that comes with the bag. That's why I have this gum. Hand sanitizer from Bath and Body Works. Another scrunchie. And I have this little keychain where the, the hand sanitizer was supposed to be on because y'all know um, the Bath and Body Works like hand sanitizer holders and I feel like this pink kind of matched and I had it on here but it broke so I'm just kind of using this as a keychain now and I may try to put it back on there or get a new one I just haven't gotten around to it and this is some more report sheets and paper and that is everything that's in my work bags. All the things that's in my work bag. I basically use everything in here for the most part. I typically use all the things in here, but you never know what could happen while you're at work. So thanks for watching.